how's it going guardians shifty here and today i'm back with my weekly vendor video now today we have a bit of a mixed bag on one hand we have some vendor armor that's pretty terrible all around however on the other hand banshee has a weapon that i think everybody should pick up but that weapon is only going to be available for a very limited time all right so if you didn't know already in these videos i like to go over all of the vendor armor and weapon rolls for the week typically i talk about any standout banshee weapons then I talk about any standout armor for each class, and at the end of the video I put footage of the remaining armor and weapon rolls for the week. In today's video I'm going to be going over a couple of banshee weapons, I'm going to skip talking about any armor because all of it was pretty bad this week, however I'm still going to keep the footage at the end of the video to show off all of the armor and weapon rolls. Anyway, before I get into the banshee weapon rolls, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, before I talk about any of the Banshee weapons for this week, I do have to mention that the Banshee weapons and their roles change every Tuesday at reset. However, what a lot of people don't know is that those weapon perks will change again at 6pm central time on Wednesday. So all of the Banshee weapons have a certain role from Tuesday's reset all the way till 6pm central on Wednesday, then the perks change again, and those roles will persist until next reset. That means if you want any of the rolls you see in today's video, you have to pick them up immediately. They're only available for about 31 hours after Tuesday's reset. Now that fact is actually extremely important this week. The reason being is Banshee is selling a God Roll Cartesian Coordinate for PvE. I recommend pretty much everyone pick up this particular roll. It has accelerated coils, lead from gold, warpal weapon, and a charge time masterwork. In terms of DPS, this is probably the best you can get. Not only that, but Lead from Gold is going to help with the ammo economy, especially with the Fusion Rifle Ammo Scavenger from the Artifact this season. Not only is this a great PvE roll overall, but this particular Cartesian Coordinate is going to be amazing for the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon. In fact, this roll is even better than the one I already have that I've used to do a solo flawless run a few times. Now, with this roll, you are going to lose out on some overall damage. However, with those fast charge times, you will increase your damage per second. So please, do yourself a favor and pick up this particular roll before it goes away. It's great for new players and veterans alike. Alright, the next weapon I want to talk about is a bit of a disappointment compared to that Cartesian Coordinate, but it's still a pretty solid roll, especially for newer players. That weapon is the Toil and Trouble. Now this isn't a god roll per se, but it does have some pretty solid PvP perks. First of all, you have Assault Mag, which is an excellent choice for PvP. Then you have Moving Target, which isn't bad itself either. On top of those two perks, this one also comes with a range masterwork. Alright, so since there are not any standout armor rolls for any class this week, I'm going to be skipping that. However, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be showing off footage of all of the remaining armor and weapon rolls for the week. So if you want to stick around and check that out, feel free to do so. I would definitely recommend doing so if you're a newer player. You might find some armor that's a decent upgrade until you get something better. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.